In this video, I will explain the 2017 horror fantasy film, Tigers Are Not Afraid. I hope you enjoy it. At the start of the film, we get to see some facts where we get to know about the Mexican drug war and how during that war a lot of people died. And how many people and children got lost. After this we see a girl named Estrella who is writing a fairy tale about a tiger in her school. That tigers are very brave and they are not scared of anything. At that moment there were sounds of gunfire outside the school. All the kids lie down on the ground, all scared. That time, Estrella's teacher comes to her and hands her three chalks and says these are three wishes. When everything settles down outside, the school gets closed. The kids start going to their homes. On the other side we see an orphan boy, Shine, who steals a gun and an iPhone from Kako. Shine points the gun at him but he fails to gather the energy to do so. Kako worked for Chino, who is a Mexican political leader. Kako used to handle all of his illegal work like kidnapping, murder etc. After this the scene shifts back to Estrella who is going back home from school. On her way she sees a dead body. When Estrella passes by the dead body some blood spots start following her and along with her reach her house. Estrella reaches home and calls out her mother but she wasn't home because she was kidnapped by Chino's human trafficking group, whose name was Huascas. It was night now and Estrella was feeling hungry but her mother's whereabouts were unknown. Estrella asks for a wish from one of those chalks that her mother comes back. After which Estrella gets haunting visions of her mother and she hears whispers which were telling her, bring him to us. Estrella gets very scared and sleeps outside her house. In the morning when Estrella goes inside her house, Shine was stealing inside her house. When Estrella tries to stop him, he tells her that his mother has been kidnapped by Chino's Huascas group. But Estrella says that it's not true and that her mother returned back home last night. After this Shine runs away and once again Estrella starts hearing those haunting sounds. She also runs away from home. Now Estrella was feeling very hungry so she went to Shine and his gang. Here we see more orphan kids. They were Pop, Tuski and Moro. Shine and his group refused to give food to Estrella and her joining the group. But Estrella didn't want to go back home. She still stays with them. Next morning Kako comes to get back his gun and phone. Everyone runs away from there but they kidnap Moro. Shine gives his gun to Estrella and tells her that if she kills Kako they will let her join their gang. Estrella goes to Kako's house and while pointing the gun at him makes a wish that she doesn't have to kill him. She sees that he is already dead. After which along with Moro she also frees the kids who Kako has kidnapped. Coming out she tells everyone that she has killed Kako. After this Shine asks her how she killed him. Estrella tells him that she made a wish. After this Shine tells her that they all have been orphaned because of Chino and his group. They all were very happy that Kako was dead. That night Estrella sees another vision of her mother, in which she warns her that the person who has killed Kako in real life will come to find her and she will have to bring that man to her mother. The next morning they all start going to a new place because Chino's men could come to find them. After which they go into an abandoned house and hide there. Here Estrella sees Shine crying because he couldn't kill Kako with his own hands. They get a call on Kako's phone from his brother Tio. He asks all of them to return Kako's phone or else they all will be killed. But Shine ends the call. Shine tells Estrella that there is a picture of his mother in the phone which Kako took before kidnapping her from the house. Other than that picture he has no other picture so he doesn't want to give them back the phone. They all ignore Tio's warning and are very happy living in the house. After which Shine goes to Estrella and symbolizes her bravery with a tiger. He asks Estrella about any picture of her mother. Estrella tells him that her mother's pictures are at home. Shine tells her that his mother's pictures were also at home but they burnt his house and took his mom with them. She asks Estrella if she can remove the burning mark from his face with her wish. Estrella refuses him and tells him that whenever she uses the wish something bad happens. After this Shine goes to Estrella's house to get a photo of her mother and while returning Tio catches him. When Estrella was looking for Shine she sees Tio and to hide herself she closes herself in a room. She starts seeing the haunting visions there as well. Getting scared she comes out of the room and Tio catches her too. When Tio was about to kill Shine, Moro shoots him and in return Tio also shoots him and Moro dies. Everyone runs away from there to another place. All of them are very upset about Moro's death. Shine thinks that what is there in this phone, that it is so important for the Waskas gang. He sees there is a video in the phone in which Chino is murdering a lady and Kako had secretly recorded a video to blackmail him. 
After this Estrella tells Shine to call Chino. She makes a deal with Chino that they will return the phone but in return he will have to end the Waska's gang. After this Chino says that if they did not come he will kill them too as he has killed Kako but Kako couldn't recover the stolen phone. When Shine and his gang finds out that Estrella didn't kill Kako they all leave her there and go. When Estrella was alone she started getting visions of many dead people. All of them were telling her, bring him to us. All this scares her and she runs away from there. Tuski and Pop were very scared and they were thinking that if they went to Chino he would kill them. That why they steal Kako's phone from Shine and show the murder video to the police. But the police don't help them and Shine steals the phone from them. He sees in the video that the lady being murdered is wearing a bracelet, the same bracelet which he saw Estrella's mother wearing in one of the pictures. He understands that the lady who got murdered is Estrella's mother. After this he goes back to Estrella but they don't find her there. They start burying Moro's body. Moro's ghost goes to Estrella and tells her that they are burying him. After this Estrella goes to Shine and his gang. They close Moro in a box and throw it in the water after which they pray for his peace. After this Estrella tells them to go to Chino otherwise he will kill them all. They all are on their way to meet Chino. Shine gives Estrella her mother's picture and tells her about her mother's murder. After this Estrella tells Shine if she uses her wish to kill Chino. Shine tells her that there is nothing like a wish and in the morning they all go to the location as told by Chino. Shine gives the phone to Chino but upon not telling the password, Chino breaks the phone and kills all the members of Waska's gang who were standing there. Seeing this, Pop and Tuski run away from there. After this Shine takes Estrella and starts running. Estrella remembers that it's the same place where they had killed her mother. Shine reveals that Kako's phone is still with them. They all had deceived Chino by giving him a different phone. After this Estrella goes to kill him with her wish but Shine stops her and tells her that there is nothing like this. At that moment Estrella wishes away the burn mark on Shine's face but nothing happens. At that moment Chino fires a gun at Shine which kills him. Now Chino knew they had cheated him and they still have the real phone. Estrella runs away from there and Chino follows her. When Estrella was hiding from Chino, Moro's tiger came to her and took her into a shaft where there were many dead bodies. Amongst them one dead body was of her mother. Estrella cries a lot after seeing her mother and remembers their moments together. After this she uses Kako's phone to lure in Chino and closes the door. All the victim spirits start killing Chino. After this Estrella meets Shine's spirit and says goodbye to him. Shine goes into that room and sets it on fire as Chino had set fire to his house. When Estrella walks out of the building he sees a tiger there and she starts feeling herself as a tiger. She goes out and now she was free like a tiger, she could go anywhere and the movie ends here.